Today, is the only truth. A long time ago, there was a time when motor vehicles had to be started with a handle like the letter Z in English. It took a lot of hard work, energy and time to start the cars. In other words, starting any car at that time was a matter of argument. One word before you start, if you like the video, please like the video and subscribe to the channel to get more videos. A young man who was the vice president of General Motors Research Corporation. He told friends that cars could be started with a small key. But his friends laughed and blew away his words. And everyone who heard it said that it was impossible to imagine. And he did not stop making fun of his whimsical imagination. It is not possible to start such a large motor vehicle with a small key, he said. But today we know that it has been possible. Now the car can be started with a small key i.e. self-starter. How is this possible? Now let's talk about that. His name is Charles Franklin Kettering. Briefly known as Charles F. Kettering today. Who was able to accomplish this impossible? When he dreamed of inventing the self-start of the car. Then he needed a lot of time and hard work to fulfill this dream. He was forced to quit his job. Money is also needed for any research. He lacked money because he did not have a job. His bank balance was running out. At one point everything was over. Even then Charles Catering could not succeed. One attempt after another seemed to fail. More money was needed to continue the research. Disappointed, stop working or continue working. He started selling land deposits, jewelry etc. At one point all that was over. The last resort was the ancestral farm and the house. The ancestral property is no longer available, so he sold the house. He built a hut on one side of the field and lived with his wife and children. He became so engrossed in deep research that he became estranged from relatives and friends. On top of that friends, relatives all told his wife why he was accepting so much madness. Children have no future. But his wife said that they were suffering, but that the caterer himself was working so hard that he did not even have time to look at his own body, that was what kept him thinking. In other words, his wife is supporting her husband's work, his perseverance. Charles Kettering quotes believe and act. Despite all this, Charles Kettering was adamant that he would one day succeed. After many long years, his dream finally came true. The day he showed self-start, everyone was surprised. People in all the motor industry started buying his technique and he became the owner of a lot of money. All the world famous newspapers and magazines surrounded him and wanted to know the reason for his success. What is the source of your perseverance? To answer this, the caterer took the reporter to his lazy room, showed him a small stone in the middle of everything in the house, and said, this is the source of my success. It was found that a small word, today, was written on the stone. It simply came to our notice then. Because yesterday brings frustration in people's lives, tomorrow brings laziness. So the only truth today, and so see today I am successful. So friends, here are some lessons we can learn from this story. 1. Those who live with, today, are successful. 2. All the work in the world is done today. 3. So saving the present is the key to success. 4. Now or never. 5. Each time is valuable. So time should be used properly. Stay with us by subscribing